Hello, Internets, and welcome back to Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. In the last episode, as you can see, we've got Locke back in the group. Locke is bloated, and he's... He, I, I, I ruined the bit. I ruined the bit. But, yeah, we got Locke back in the group uh, the last uh, episode, as well as killed another dragon. We are on a roll. So, as you can tell, we're back here at Narsh. I've learned how to pronounce a few things a little bit better, so that's that's a plus. Uh, so, yeah, we're back at Narsh, and as you can remember, last time, last couple times we were here... Excuse me. Um, we couldn't open any of the doors at all. Excuse me. I'm just, I just, like, downed a bunch of coffee. And it's like starting to repeat on me already, so. But yeah, we, uh, we're pretty much here because we get the opportunity to, uh, clean house, as it were, by, uh, pretty much going around this place and unlocking the door. We've got the master, master lockpick dude, so here he is, here's the inn. It's very homey at the moment. It does not give us the option to rest. There is no clock in here, so there. this is useless to me. It's just another room to open up. We're, so we're going to go up here to that room that we originally uh, met. I believe his name was Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf the Thief. Way back in, like, the first half of the game, pretty much. It was like the time we originally got Mog, so. At this point, we are just going through here. As you can tell, I've got a pretty nice setup with this group. Granted, we've been in this area a few times, but uh, I believe we are still trying to work on that X-Zone Banish uh, hype train here with this group, so yeah. Locke is attempting to learn Fenrir, which has X-Zone on it. Cyan is almost got Banished down, so that's awesome. Uh, Shadow here is working on that life and fire magic. It's going to be a while for him. Um, and Mog is shouting. He's shouting. He's letting it all out. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be a while for anybody to really get anything in their espers, so... Let's just keep going. We equipped uh, Locke with one of those wing edges we got also in the Phoenix Cave, so we got a pretty good uh, setup right now. I think, though, after this episode, because there's a couple little little things we're going to end up doing. Nice. Shadow stopped him. Um, but yeah, there's a couple little things we're going to end up doing in this episode, one of which is what you're looking at right now. We're going through Narsh and unlocking all the doors that we can. Uh, and uh, another thing is we're going to do another bit of someone's uh, side story. So get hyped for that. All right, nothing in the clock. Let's make sure I got everything when I first got here. So, all right, so now let's go... Hmm. I'm just going to say, let's go uh, unlock another door, but of course, I get attacked. Luckily, the fights here are nothing to worry about, so... It's all good. It's all good in the hood, bro. It's all good in the hood. As the kids would say... It's all good in that hood. Yeah, uh, also, I'd like to address the, 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 uh, pretty much the audio difference, uh, in the last few episodes. I'm still working with that new laptop, so trying to get my levels and everything right is still a chore. <laughs> but, uh, we are still, we're still going. We're still, I'm still determined, filled with determination to get this, uh, this all done. Okay, so there we go. We're in the item shop now, which 
so much going on there, let me tell ya. Alright. Most of this is just unlocking all the doors of Narsh. There's like one thing that we're gonna find in here that will be beautiful and lovely in so many different ways. Sweet Cyan learned Banish and Berserk. So he's done. He's done with that. Um, he's already got X Zone, so he's fucking awesome. Uh, let's go with Starlet. Why not? We'll give you Starlet for now. I know you still have a lot to go on Phoenix. Shout, you've got a little bit left on that. Oh, you have quite a bit to go on that. That is A-OK, -okay, though. These things have to be done. Alright, I believe we just walk out this door. Yeah. Alright. I believe we don't have to unlock this guy's door, do we? No. Okay. Alright, so we'll go back in through the uh, armor shop. As to try and avoid like a random encounter. And now we're going to do the other half of town. Awesome. Good job, Cyan. I mean, that's only like, what, your first little one? Yeah, you still have... Regen. Or Regen, as I call it. Uh, Remedy. Cure 2. And you've only got 1% on Cure 3, so that's going to be a while. But it is all good in the hood is there yeah there's a door up here let's go up here i'm pretty sure this was like the uh the elder's house yeah this was the elder's house i did get his uh clock oh here he is <coughs> take <coughs> this curse shield we could break its curse, imagine its defensive power. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, so we got a curse shield. If I remember correctly, the curse shield, you find it. It's probably at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much drops stats a bit more than it freaking raises any. But, I think if you can win. What is it? 250? Hold on, let me check. I think it's like 255 battles, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like 255 uh, fights with the shield equipped to any party member. I believe it uncurses it and makes it into like a really amazing shield. Let me see. I'm looking up a, a, a walkthrough literally right now. To get the shield, you need to go to Narsh with Lock in the World of Ruin. Disable the door here, it was okay, as you, as you can see below, the shield is the worst item in the game. Uh, but if you do 256, 256 battles, not 255, uh, with it equipped to, on a living character, it will morph into the Paladin Shield, which is the best shield in the game and a must-have. Character equipped with it is almost invulnerable, and the Paladin Shield teaches Ultima. It will be a pain do doing 256 battles with it equipped, mainly because of the stats put on you and the weakness to all elements. Ouch. Uh, characters equipped with it will be killed almost every time he is hit with an elemental spell. To make this a lot easier, you should equip the character with a ribbon, which ca uh, counters all the bad effects of but condemned. And the armor, and an armor that absorbs reduces element, I suggest force armor or Minerva band. Uh, some people usually uncurse it while playing the game so they don't waste time, but if you do that, you will be able to learn Ultima very late in the game. It will be a pain trying to keep the shields wear alive throughout the game, so I strongly suggest it's better to uncurse it as soon as you get it. Okay. Yeah, alright. After 256 battles, it'll become the Paladin Shield, which... Defense 59, Evade Percent plus 40. Uh, magic Defense 59, Magic Block Percent plus 40. Absorbs Fire, Ice, Thunder, Pearl. No effect from Earth, Poison, Water, or Wind. Teaches Ultima at a 1% rate. Uh, it's not 
It's not a particular on the subject, but it's also cursed too, and it does not take too long to play, so I'll describe it too. Uh, cursed ring, cast condemn on it, doesn't uncurse. Okay. Cursed ring doesn't uncurse. That's a good thing to know. The ribbon is not a requirement for the uncursed shield. It just makes it easier. Unquip the shield and re-equip it does not increase the battles to do to uncurse it. Uh, running from a battle does not uncurse it. You must win the battle. Okay. Go-Go cannot... Can, a dead kid or... Okay, Alright. Everyone can't uncurse it except for two characters. Unfortunately, doing battles in the Col Coliseum cannot uncurse it. You can uncurse the shield on the belt. But cannot if Gal leaps into an enemy or comes back. In the case that the battle is not counted. Uh, if you equip several things... With different elemental resistance, your character will have the best one for every element, i.e. equip a shield weak against fire that absorbs wind, and jacket 50% fire and wind. Your character will absorb wind because you have shield. Okay. Best way to uncurse it. The solitary islands method. You need the Curse Shield, Boris Ribbon, two True Knights, one Cursed Ring better, or better, or Cure Ring, or better, uh, Marble Shoes, possible back guard to prevent back attack, an hour 30 to uncurse. So that's something I'm going to have to do on my off time. That's pretty much what I was looking for, is see if there was a way uh, to do it any freaking easier. Alright, yeah, so it's going to take like an hour and a half to actually uncurse the curse shield. So, oh crap, no. <laughs> Get, no, no, dude, what are you doing? Let, let go. Alright, let go. You don't need that. So we're not even going to worry about the curse shield right now. As unfortunate as that is, I mean, we I'd love to have a paladin shield, but I just, I don't see us taking the time to actually do it. It's an hour and a half, minimum just to try and uncurse this son of a bitch, so, I mean, it would be nice, it would be amazing to have a paladin shield, but I don't see it happening, maybe in a little bit, maybe, uh, after I've gotten everybody a little bit higher, I might be able to go back to an area and just quickly do 256 battles, but Jesus Christ, that's like 256 minimum, by the way, because, I have to account for the times that that character is going to die, whoever's holding the, the curse shield. Which will happen. It's going to happen. Alright, here's the relic shop. Nothing really here. Okay, uh, now we're going to go in here into this, uh, I believe the weapon shop is what it was. Click. Alright, weapon shop. Yeah, let's go down in here. Oh, look, there's a dude. One. Um, nope, nothing there. Okay, so hey, dude. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to give you this. Ooh. I ran a wep- oh, bleh. I ran a weapon shop for 70 years. The stone gives off an eerie aura. If I melted it and forged it- uh, forged a sword, it would be powerful. Well, make the stone into a sword? Uh, see, this is like a choice. There's, this is like one of only two times that you get the opportunity to get this sword called Ragnarok. The other time is actually like successfully stealing it from a boss later in the game. But this is the only time, the only time you will ever get access to the Esper Ragnarok. So we are going to take the opportunity we're going to leave it as a stone. Right. We're going to leave it as a stone. And now we should have Ragnarok, correct? Yeah. Uh, turns an enemy into an item, so it's essentially it's uh, morph. And it has Ultima at 1%. Which is awesome. Alright, so how much of Fenrir you're at? You're at 40% for Fenrir? Okay. What about Starlet? How close are you to finishing up there? A little bit. You've got a couple more fights left in you. 
What about Phoenix? I know you're pretty, like, waist-deep in that right now. No? Okay. Uh... Let's see. I think... Yeah, okay, you have that. Do you have X-Zone? You do. So since we're... I, I actually... We need Doom. We need Doom just as a backup. I need to make sure... Because, uh... The Doom Gaze fight, which happened a couple episodes ago... Uh... We... Actually got kind of freaking screwed by our X-Zone Vanish trick, or Vanish X-Zone trick. Uh, it prevented me from getting a an Esper, if, if only for a moment. So, I, uh, we got the Esper though, we beat Doomgaze, we got the Esper for, from him by this point, but we're not done with today, because there's still a few other things we're going to you. I just have to finish uh, this fight. I'm pretty sure after I finish this fight, I think I got like one more door. One more door, I believe, to uh, unlock. And I don't really think it gives me anything. Cool, Cyan Learn region. So... Yeah, it's this door, which actually I think this was the Elder's house. Either this or this was like a kooky person who lived right outside of Narsh. Oh, this door's already open. Oh, this was the Elder's house. Okay. I don't think there was really anything in here. Oh, there's an elixir I missed. There we go. There's that elixir I missed. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we are Finito and Narsh. Okay, alright, so we're back. We're gonna finish off this episode with one last thing. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna finish off this episode with one last thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be quick. At least quick enough. We have to go to this uh, little cross o trees, like right here. There's, like, a hidden house right here, so... Let's go. Oh. Oh, this is different. Hold on. This isn't the one I thought it was. Hold up. Hold up. Hey! Okay, uh... <laughs> like I was just saying, uh, that is totally not the right place that I was thinking of right now. So, do any of you have what I'm looking for right now? There you go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so I actually have to switch party members. So instead of actually doing that, I think we're going to end it off here. So uh, if you enjoyed this video of me pretty much unlocking Narsh and getting a couple items, uh, please click the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really enjoyed it, we'd love to see more. Subscribe and be on the lookout for more. I'm Bing Deadpool. This has been Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. And until we see each other in the next video or stream, peace out.